cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. All right, guys. Welcome <clears throat> to the Quaker Steak Arca series. We are here at Talladega for race five. And we um and we have Justin Acosta, Martinsville winner on the pole, and Bill Raymond. Well now we had a lot of actions at Bristol take place and Bob Ferguson and Dylan Poteet are not real happy with each other. We'll see how that takes into today's race. But um it's seeming to be a good race here at Talladega today. Thirty cars, thirty drivers ready. A lot of drivers trying to turn their season around here today. And, um, it's make it or break it time here because the season is getting closer and closer to the end. Uh, but here's the starting lineup. Bill Raymond, Bob Fergus, Ryan Cooper knows how to get around. Restricted plates, Dougie Shears, Luke Walker, Tyler Gray, Ryan Acosta, and Jake Baskinger and Connor Breen. Here we go. Green flag is out. They're going to start to do the two-car tango. And here they go into the corner. I mean, I would keep a look on the mid-pack here. But look at, oh, Ryan Cooper's going to go on the outside. Oh. Oh, and they're almost wrecking right there. And Dougie Shears is right there. And they're trying to do the two-car tango. Oh. Oh, there it is. Jake Baskinger, Tyler Gray, Seth Cole. Oh, no. Brianna Patrick, Justin Perry, last week's winner. Trent Dunham's involved. Oh, man. Red Bell's involved. Corey O'Malley. And the leader to the line is probably going to be Justin Acosta. And it happened with Ryan Acosta. And we will take a look at the replay. Tough break. All right, guys. Here it goes right here. Jake Jake Baskinger again gets in the Ryan Acosta, and then that starts it. Luke Walker goes up into the wall. The four Tyler Gray, Trent Dunham's involved. Just a whole host of cars. The 06, the 91. Of Pichu London, the nine of Corey O'Malley. The four actually didn't get that much damage. It was actually a little big one, but a lot of cars got a lot of damage out of it. Um, like Trent Dunham. Uh, Trent Dunham, he's up here. Uh, Jeff Cole, Bob Marshall, points leader. Trent Dunham got a lot of damage, man. And Dylan Pote missed it. We'll go on board with Trent Dunham. All right, you, you see it happening right here. It's just a chain reaction. The 23 goes around. Seth Cole gets into it. And then just, oh, man, the 11 right there. And the zero takes in the wall. Rihanna Patrick. There goes Justin Perry. And then, and then the, the 33 got a piece of it. And then the 9, the 11. 11 kind of started it, but we'll take you to the... Alright, guys, we got a problem. And that and that problem is with Dougie Shears. Uh, Dougie, Dougie Shears had an engine failure, and Justin Acosta is now leading the field. As we, get, as we get ready to go back to green flag, we got Justin Acosta, Bill Raymond, Ryan Cooper, Bob Fergus, Connor Breton, how about a run for him trying to miss that wreck? Luke Walker, Dakota Erickson, Danny Wells, Jack Richards, and Jake Davis, and how about Alexander Dawson with a nice run? Finally, and Dylan Poteet still on the racetrack. We have 29 drivers. Not a lot of drivers got torn up that much in that wreck, but a lot of them going to be off the pace. So We only got 28. Uh, oh, yeah, Dougie Shears is done. Dougie Shears and Trent Dunham are out of the race. So, tough break. Tough break for those guys. Trent Dunham got a lot of damage from that big one. He couldn't avoid it. It's, inedi it's inedible. When it comes, it comes. Uh, Justin Costa trying to get his second race win. 
and he has a good car on top of him. And but Bill Raymond is probably not gonna have something to say about it by the end of this one. Uh, but we're gonna do some crank it up, so you don't have to listen to me. But we'll do some crank it up for you guys, okay? All right, here we go. Crank it up. We got a problem. Bob Fergus is around. Here we go. Connor Breton started it. And that I seen that coming. Connor Breton just started it. And look at Tyler Grace smacking the wall trying to miss it. Corey O'Malley got a piece of it. Brianna Patrick. Oh my god. That was a wreck started by a little bit of stupidity on Connor Breton's part. What I don't know what he was what he was thinking in his head, but Oh, Jake Davis, Pichu London, and Justin Acosta will be leading with the Daytona champ behind him. But what the hell is Conor Breton doing? Conor Breton didn't. He got a he got a little bit of damage out of that. No, he actually didn't. What the hell was he thinking? All right, we'll take a look at the replay. All right, guys, this is what happened. Conor Breton just deliberately just turns Bob Fergus. I I guess everybody's on Bob Bob Fergus's bad side. And then Dakota Erickson comes up. And then, oh, Luke Walker. And then Jack Richards gets a piece of it. Oh, Matthew McMurray's on his roof. Oh, the 91 comes in. And the Jack Richards, Ryan Acosta's involved. Justin Perry. Uh, And Seth Cole's involved. And Bob Fergus. Man, that wreck was caused by stupidity on... On... Uh, Connor Breton's part. We'll take an onboard. All right, we're on board. Matthew McMurray, and uh, they see Connor Breton just turns, turns deliberately into Bob Fergus, Jake Davis, and there it is. Yeah. Oh man, Court, Brianna Patrick, Jack Richards, Pichu London, and then Matthew McMurray goes on his roof, and Jack Richards is involved. Justin Perry, last week's winner, cannot escape it. Uh, Jake Davis, Pichu London, about seven to eight cars involved because of Conor Breton, Seth Cole, because of Conor Breton's stupidity. And tough break for um Bob. Oh, we got Justin Acosta leading. Sorry about that, guys. I was a little bit late. But we have somebody on the apron, and that somebody is Red Bell. She has, she has been involved in both the big ones. And I guess it's something. Something is wrong with her car, and she will. She will. She will have a top 15 finish, but it's not going to be that great. Well, probably top 20. But anyway, there goes Justin Acosta to the lead, and that second wreck was the biggest wreck we had. Two cars were flipping on that last wreck, and um, tough break for them. As there, there goes Ryan Ryan Cooper. Ryan Cooper's gonna try try to get to the back of the um 38. Can Justin Costa get his second win? Or will Bill Raymond or Danny Wells or any of these guys back here have something to say about it? Dylan Pote, he's like the only guy up here that hasn't, you know, one of the four or five guys up here that doesn't have too much damage. But he's behind Connor Breton. He's gonna have to get around Connor Breton. To get a chance to win, because Connor Breton's car is not that great. He got involved in that wreck, so I don't think it's it's gonna be that good for him. And there goes Red Bell going back on pit, out of pit road. They got Dakota Erickson. He was involved in that first wreck, and he's still up in the top ten. Alexander Dawson. And then there there goes <laughs> there goes the two messed up cars trying to.
two car draft with each other. Uh, Connor Breton and Jake Baskinger, but that's not gonna help. Connor Bre Connor Breton's probably probably gonna be I don't know, he's probably gonna be on prob probation for his actions today. And, oh there goes Tyler Gray and look at Tyler Gray. Tyler Gray's gonna challenge. Challenge Justin Costa for the lead. And here he goes. Tyler Gray is the only car I've seen trying to do this by himself. And Tyler Gray, will he, he will get the lead on the inside. Oh, almost a crash right there. But Justin Acosta been really strong. He will go on the outside and keep the lead. Does anybody have a, a passion to get by him? I have anything, anything for him. Danny Wells, we had three cars on the top. Ryan Cooper and Dylan Poteet are helping each other. And here comes Danny Wells. Danny Wells is going to go on the inside. He's going to help Justin Acosta. But he doesn't need to help him. He has to try to get the win from him. Come on, Danny Wells. Make a move. The Danny Wells is not going to make a move. But here comes, here he comes on the outside where he has two drivers helping each other. It's Ryan Cooper and... Uh, Ryan Cooper and Dylan Poteet are doing the two-car draft, and I don't know if that's helping for him right now. I don't know if it works too well with these cars. The design of these cars might not make the two-car draft work, and Dylan knows that, and he and he and he doesn't and he doesn't drive with the 21 no more. But this is gonna be a crazy finish. Tyler Gray was involved in that first wreck. And he's going and he's gonna try to come back and win the race. Here we go. White flag is out. Dylan Poteet is on the inside. Who is going to win it on the way back? Oh, and Justin Acosta, do not leave the door open, son. Oh, and he does not. But Tyler Gray is all over him. So is Dylan Poteet. Dylan Poteet is having the greatest race of his season. Can he get the win? Oh, Dylan Poteet, something's wrong. Oh no, but Justin Justin Acosta is still is still in the lead. And there's Tyler Gray. Tyler Gray is just he's just doing what he has to do. But I don't think he's gonna get the win from him. And Dylan Poti, something is wrong with him. He is falling to the back of this pack. Oh, but I tell you, somebody's coming. Look at this. Bill Raymond's getting pushed by the Daytona champ. But I don't think it's enough. Justin Acosta Justin Acosta will take the win away from Tyler Gray again and he will win here at Talladega How about that for Justin Acosta And what a run by Dylan Poteet and at the end it ended pretty bad But there's Jake Jake Baskinger kind of breathing and, and How about Alexander Dawson and Bob Marshall out there hitting the wall very hard in that first wreck get a top 10 and uh, the rest of these guys back here but congratulations to to um, John Acosta and we will take Justin Acosta uh, we will take you to the um, finishing results